Greetings gamers and welcome to another World of Warcraft leveling guide and our tip of the day says defeat enemy players to earn honor levels and unlock prestigious cosmetic rewards. Okay so that might be interesting but I don't see how we can actually test that unless we actually get attacked by an enemy player or unless we find an enemy player that we can attack. Uh, if we can't do that soon, I might just go into a battleground or something to get some honor points. Okay, so as per usual, uh, I start the day by checking my inventory. Uh, let's have a little look, see what's in the old mailbox. Money, 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 and a few returned items. That is pretty average, that's to be expected, so just open everything up. Hello, there's a note. What is that note? A parrot trainer from Freehold, Rodrigo is trying to offload some of his birds and I need to diversify my stock so we formed a business partnership. You should stop by my shop, Rough Waters, the next time you're in Baralis. I don't know, it's a little out of my way and I'm not that into pets anyway but uh, I am doing a levelling video so yes I will stop by Rough Waters when I get a chance. Hang on just a minute, that says requires level 56, I've only just noticed. How did I get hold of that? That's um, Shadowlands gear. I shouldn't have that, I've never been to Shadowlands or done anything to pick anything up from there. I'm going to have to look over my old videos and find out how I acquired that item. I suspect this wound up in my mailbox by mistake because someone confused my name with somebody else's name. I will look back and try and track down the origin of that item.
talk to me. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up my inventory a little bit. The stuff I can't put on the auction house, so I'm going to put in my bank. Uh, I'll look into those treasure maps at some point in the future. I'll probably do a special video on the treasure maps. So I'll just hoard them for the time being. Off with it. Okay, I think that's my inventory all sorted out. In which case, that means it's time to Hearthstone and start adventuring. Booyah! Okay, so if I remember right, Dalen's gate was in serious peril and we were going off to try to save Dalen's gate from the Iron Tide Raiders after having narrowly escaped with our lives in Freehold thanks to Talia's timely intervention. Uh, oh gosh, we've got rather a lot of quests here. Uh, they're probably profession quests, but... Uh, I'll have a look. Oh, and while I'm here, I should go and talk to that Tortolan guy and tell him the bad news that his deal went sour. Step closer and don't mumble. A bad deal. Hmm, a scam, was it? You have my apologies for putting you in harm's way. This man should be delivered to justice. He may be in hiding now, but I am very, very patient. Not everything in the ocean is as good-looking or nice-mannered as I am. Okay, so this is the mining trainer. Keep warm, I hope. Mm, yeah? Is there something I can help you with? Okay, well, first things first. Let's see if she can teach me anything. Oh, yes, she can. We'll learn those skills. Steer clear of dark alleys. City's dangerous nowadays. A need for coal. Ah, Gilgamesh, just the person I was hoping to see. I was just getting ready to smelt some monolite down into ingots, but I noticed my coal supply was running low. Well, I mean, I have coal, yes, but I prefer using ash vein coal. It puts out less smoke and burns hotter, so I need less of it. If you can get some ash vein coal from the ash vein foundry south of here, I'd be more than willing to give you a couple of pointers for mining monolite. Collect nine handfuls of ash vein coal. Ritualistic preparations. Hey, I just got a request for a shipment of storm silver. Want to help? As you know, storm silver is lightweight and resists corrosion. What you may not know is that we use it throughout our ships. It's so light our marines and pirates use it for armour because they can swim in it. However, 
Any parts that go into a ship have to be blessed by a tide sage, or it'll be cursed to a watery doom. Harvest a bucket full of ore, smelt it, and get it blessed for me, and I will teach you how to mine it easier. Carry on strong. And it looks like Declan the Herbalist has got a quest for me as well. Grabro's favour, friend. Breaking the food chain. The extra river bud you planted has helped, but it's not enough. Some of the local wildlife are consuming the river bud before they mature. The more river bud that is eaten, the less we have for our own needs. The largest group of young river bud consumers are the turtles. If the river bud becomes a threatened species, we'll need to regulate harvesting it. Instead, go thin the number of turtles in the area. Do that and I'll teach you everything I know about river bud. Ghost busting. I hate to ask this of you, but are you available for some more grunt work? I'd do it myself, but this seems beyond my capabilities. Remember how I told you we use star moss to allow those no longer living to join us for a special day? Yeah, well, sometimes once they show up, they don't want to leave. There is a spirit on the other side that is lashing out, harming those it should be protecting. Take this smouldering star moss and cleanse the area until you find the offender, then help them move on. Put the angry spirit to rest. Gathering mementos. I have a task that I can't really trust to anyone else, and I feel you could handle it with the reverence it deserves. An old friend of mine came to me today, bringing a wilted sea stalk flower with her. Her husband was on a ship southeast of Freehold. I'm not sure if it was pirates, the horde, or a squall, but she said she didn't want revenge, just closure. If you could get her something to remember him by, I'll tell you everything I know about sea storks, and you'd have my gratitude. Search through patches of seaweed to find a memento of the lost sailor. Oh, that is so very sad. Look always to the sea! Good day to you. Trouble at Greystone Keep. A friend of mine, a fellow military courier, had a job at Greystone Keep. The fort lies just outside of Boralus, so I would have expected him to be back by now. I have another job lined up, so could you go check out the fort for me? I'm probably just being paranoid. Speak with Talis Skyheart. Storm's coming. I can feel it in the waters. Okay, so as usual, I'll try and do the profession quests as and when I get in the area to do them. Uh, other than that, I believe we were going off trying to save Dalen's Gate. So let's go to the flight master and fly to, I think it was Vigil's Hill. What can I do for you? Yep. Let's go. Keep the wind.
Ahoy! A desperate defence. Aha! Reinforcements. Wait, where are the rest of you? We're outmanned, outgunned and out of options. This is where we shine. Farmers who fight. I was hoping for a squad of Proudmoor Academy's finest, but I guess you'll have to do. What we lack in manpower we make up for in courage. Even the farmers here won't give up their land without a fight. Send the bravest of them to me. They will fight better alongside our marines than by themselves out in the fields. Recruit six Vigil Hill farmers into the militia. Air Raid. Those pirates have air support. They're torching our farms and splitting our attention away from the front lines. Take them out of the sky. Slay six Iron Tide Sky Riders. Fair winds and following seas. How can I help? Numbing the pain. The medics here are doing their best, but they've suffered heavy casualties and are strapped for healing supplies. With a few clumps of Evermoss, I could mix a pain-killing tincture to ease the suffering of the injured. Can you forage some from the nearby trees? I'll help get Flynn stabilised. The last thing these people need is another wounded man howling in pain. Gather five Evermoss clumps. Stay on course. Now this is where being a herbalist really comes into its own. The quest objectives are these Evermoss and they just show up on the minimap, which they probably wouldn't do if you weren't a herbalist. Oh, Rodrigo would be heartbroken if he knew that's what they were doing with his pretties.
to target something first. Get off Rodrigo's pretties. the target. Good day to you. Farmers who fight. We'll get those volunteers paired up with the regulars and give them a fighting chance. Air raid. Damn fine work. I'll recommend you for a medal of valor. Hands off my booty. We are dealing with lawless, no account thugs. As soon as they gained ground, they started looting. Looting? Right in the middle of a battle? Well, I for one am not giving up our booty that easy. Get up to the top of Vigil Hill and man the main cannon. Rain hellfire down on those blackguards. Dismissed. Keep a weather eye open. I've always dreamed of adventure. Did you find any ever moss? Of course, I'm a herbalist. What do you think? That should do. We can do this. All right, Piggy, let's go rain hellfire down on those blackguards. <laughs> A 
Okay, I've got to admit, I do kind of like these quests. They are fun. It's like you see all these um, invaders and you can just get your revenge. No, you shall not make it back to the ship with the booty. Okay, that was a lot of fun. They destroyed the main gun, then it's time to advance on foot. Though instead of um, choosing my reward, I'll split the video here and we'll pick up in part two tomorrow. So from me, Big Fat Hairy Gamer, have a good one.